What's going on everyone? This is Real Life. It is eight o'clock, I just got done doing an hour of cardio. And now, back at the house, we have Mr. Brady sitting here chilling. He just woke up a little while ago. He ate his breakfast. And now we're about to have coffee. So this is what I've been doing every single day for the past, I guess, five to six weeks, is waking up around six o'clock, getting at the gym around 6.30, doing an hour of cardio and then doing some abs and then getting back and then having coffee with Shelby and Brady. Well, Brady can't have coffee, but <laughs> yeah. So today is gonna be a high carb day of eating. So it's gonna be a full day. I'm gonna show you exactly what I eat today. Uh, so I'm gonna go in there and get a shower because right now I am just sweating like crazy. Shelby is so kind to cook my <laughs> breakfast this morning. She is cooking oats uh, because I had to take a shower because we have a meeting to go to at nine o'clock. So I have to hurry up uh, and cook this breakfast and eat breakfast and then we're headed out the door pretty much. Uh, I'm very late, or not late, we should be right on time, but uh, we're gonna be rushed. All right, so Shelby got done cooking my breakfast, check it out. So I have one cup of oatmeal, I have half a cup of egg whites cooked into the oatmeal. So pretty much you get done cooking the oatmeal and then you just add the egg whites on top of that. It gives a little bit of volume and plus it gives it more protein. And then now I'm also adding a scoop of this NitroTech uh, funnel cake flavor protein powder in with my oatmeal. So these are, what is it called? Proats is what they, they're called? Pro protein oats, like yeah, something like that. And then I'm gonna also add a quarter of a serving of peanut butter. Today's macros is gonna be lower in fat and higher in carbs, so I'm not gonna have uh, that much fat at all. And then I'm also adding this uh, Weldon Farms, again, pancake syrup in with the oatmeal and then adding some more stevia to make it a little bit sweeter. And then of course I have added uh, salt to this because salt is something I have all the time. Anytime Shelby cooks, like I gotta salt this way more because anytime Shelby cooks, she doesn't add enough. I add then, plenty <laughs> for I a normal add so human. so much more. So now I'm gonna enjoy this and then we're gonna go head to a meeting up at the apartment complex. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I added 50 grams of blueberries. So check out this, this is Shelby's meal and they're the exact same macros, but the reason why I didn't wanna go with this one is because of the volume, check it out. So much more volume in the yeah. oatmeal. So this is one bagel, it has 50 grams of carbs, she's got egg whites in there and then fat-free cheese. So it's the exact same calories, macros, and everything, but when you're on a diet, volume is what matters. I peed myself. I have never in my life done this before. This is something Shelby would do. And I have done. Oh my gosh, literally in, this, in the exact spot, <laughs> looks like I peed myself. <laughs> this is gonna gr be a great meeting, meeting these people and be like, hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. I wet myself. <laughs> 600 feet. So just wrapped up that meeting and I have to admit, I lied to you guys. It was not with apartment complex. Uh, can you see that sign back there? Yeah, it says sold. Stay tuned, guys. This absolutely sucks, but this makes it better. I was more sad about losing my coffee, actually. I need to go in there and wash these jeans quick before they stain. That is just so embarrassing, having that meeting with those people. I was like, um, first off, I spilt my coffee, so don't think I peed myself. <laughs> so now that I changed shirts, Put that shirt and the pants in the dryer. This is my second pair of ZV uh, shirts that I put on today. I absolutely love the new shirts coming out. The quarter length sleeve, my favorite ones by far that they came out with. Check out our bedroom right now. It is so nice looking, isn't it? All those sheets uh, are because we tan last night. So each time uh, we tan, we have to put on the old sheets so we don't ruin uh, the nice ones that we have. So I'm about to do a commentary here. This is my setup for my computer that I do a commentary with. I have a snowball microphone and I have my Starbucks coffee here. And I'm about to do the commentary for uh, the leg workout, which is probably two videos back. And so this is my whole setup that I have to sit here and go over. Just thought y'all might like to see how the commentaries are done. I sit here and do maybe like 30 takes because I'm so low carb that 
a lot of the times I don't know what I'm saying. I have to do take after take to get the commentaries right. So now we're gonna sit here, do some work, and then have my next meal. What is going on everyone? Good to be back. Uh, I'm so excited for new content that's coming out. I'm working on a video right now, actually recording today, the high carb video. Yesterday I recorded a full day of low carb. Brady, hey, did you get a good nap? <laughs> yeah, you did. Look at that red head. You've been sleeping on that side of that face. Say, hey world, look at that Brady. red spot on his head where he slept. <laughs> it matches his shirt. He took a really good nap today. He took around, what, a two hour yeah. nap? That's incredible, hey. thank you. I was able to get done with the commentary. Hey. He's so hungry. Oh, he's so hungry. So I was able to get done with the commentary and Shelby was able to get a lot of work done too. So I'm about to eat here in about, I don't know, uh, 20 minutes or something. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna eat because I want to uh, eat all my carbs around my workout. So I had carbs, of course, for breakfast, as you saw, and then I wanna have one more carb meal before my workout and then have more carbs after the workout. And I think dinner is just gonna be like a lower carb. So I wanna tie all my carbs earlier on in the day and then post workout. So I'm not really sure when I'm gonna go work out today. Today's gonna be a shoulder day. I like to have my high carb days uh, typically on like a back day or leg day or even a chest day so like the biggest muscle groups but I'm gonna be working legs tomorrow or back tomorrow uh, and then a lot of the times I don't feel the carbs until the next day even so uh, all the carbs I'm eating today is not necessarily gonna help my shoulder workout it might give me a little bit more of a pump but as far as giving me energy that's not gonna come until tomorrow so that is why I'm gonna be working like back or legs tomorrow because I'm gonna have the most energy from these carbs today uh, but like I said, I'm not really sure what I want to eat right now because I'm not sure if I'm going to be going to the gym in the next hour or so because I want to eat a pre-workout meal and then go to the gym around an hour after that. So I really have to just plan out my meals today and figure out when I want to go to the gym. Now it is lunchtime. I've tried this clip probably five or six times, maybe more than that. Brady was over here yelling and then some buns to have this meal because I want to have higher carb... So we fixed that and then I did a take and everything was fine and then I choke on my own spit. <coughs> <coughs> this is just not my day for vlogging. So anyways, I'm keeping this meal lower carbs because I want to have higher carbs later on tonight for dinner. So we're gonna have some low fat burgers. So I'm gonna be going to the store and getting some low fat beef and then some buns. I'm looking forward to that because having burgers on a diet is always amazing. So let me show you what I'm having for lunch. This is lower carbs than what I was going to have because I was gonna have some uh, either oatmeal or cream of rice uh, pre-workout, but uh, this is low carb wrap. So this is right at like 30 grams of carbs. And what I have on there is pickles, uh, fat-free cheese, I have uh, lettuce, and five ounces of chicken for both of these wraps. And then for condiments, I have some honey mustard, light Miracle Whip, and then some Greek yogurt uh, ranch dressing on this. So this looks amazing, so I'm gonna eat this and then probably head to the gym in about an hour to an hour and a half. So now I'm about to head to the gym. Shelby's got her favorite TV show over there, just playing. She's not watching it, but you know what time it is. We gotta take our pre-workout, so I'm taking the pre-build by Muscle Tech. And today is gonna be, like I said, shoulders. Looking forward to it. Shoulders is one of those days that I enjoy, but it's not too crazy hard because it's a smaller muscle group than like, let's say, your back or leg. So I wanna mix up the pre-workout and we're gonna head to the gym. What's going on everyone? Hope you're enjoying the video so far. So I have uploaded two of my most requested muscle groups back-to-back -back videos. So I hope you enjoyed that arm workout yesterday. So today is a shoulder day. So the very first movement we started off with was dumbbell side raises. I did six sets of around 10 to 12 reps. And then on the last set, did a double drop set. After doing those dumbbell side raises, went into dumbbell front raises. I did another six sets of these for 10 to 12 reps, alternating as you can see and I switched between the grips. So one set I would do uh, my thumbs facing up that you're watching right now, and the next set 
I would have my hands flat and I would do a set like that and then go back to thumbs facing up so I would rotate back to back so it was uh, three sets with uh, thumbs up and then three sets with my palms facing down. The reason why I was doing all these different angles is really trying to focus on uh, you know, hitting all the different muscles in my front delt. So that was the point uh, of uh, switching the angles. So once I would hit failure alternating dumbbells, I would go into both dumbbells at the same time just to burn out just a little bit more. So after that went into single arm, dumbbell upright rows. I did four sets of these for uh, 10 to 12 reps. So I would just do one arm and then immediately go into the other arm and then take a rest. Uh, throughout this workout, I was resting for around one minute. Now the last exercise, I was only resting for around 45 seconds in between sets. So after those upright rows, now we are going into the superset portion of the workout. So the very first superset is seated military press. I did five sets of these for 10 to 12 reps, superset with seated dumbbell side raises. I know, more side raises. So on the last set of both of these exercises, I also did a double drop set. So for the drop set, I just went to failure for those 10 to 12 reps, and then immediately would drop the weight, go to failure again, and then drop the weight once more. And I did that for both of these movements. So this is the seated dumbbell side raises. And the reason why I'm doing more side raises is because at the beginning, of the workout when I was doing those side raises, it was more of a lateral raise. So I had more of a bend in my elbow. So I was trying to go really heavy on the dumbbells. Now on this one, I went a little bit lighter and I'm trying to keep my arms a little bit more straight. So I'm hitting those side delts. And when I would hit failure, then I would start swinging like you could see. So I would go perfect form as long as I could and then when I would hit failure, I would start swinging just to uh, squeeze out a little bit more reps and that's okay to do. So after that superset went into this huge set, I don't even know what you would call this because this is really five different movements uh, all back to back. So started off with rope face pulls just normal face pulls. Oh, by the way, I did four sets of these. And then I did head pulls right here. So this is hitting the rear delts. And after doing both of these movements with the cable, went on to kettlebell side raises, kettlebell front raises, and then kettlebell rear delts, all back to back without resting. So this was like a really good burnout. So this is the kettlebell side raises. I think I was only using, I think the 20 pound kettlebell, so nothing crazy heavy. So I'm trying to really focus on keeping my arms as straight as possible. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so. Okay, I went from side raises to rear delts first and then finished off on the front raises. The reason why I did that is because front raises to me are always easier. So you wanna hit all your weaker muscles first and then save your stronger ones uh, for later on because that is when you're gonna be able to squeeze out those reps because if I did it the other way around, I would not be able to get 10 reps of these a piece and that's what I was going for. I was going for 10 rep side raises, 10 reps uh, rear flies, and then 10 reps uh, uh, front raises. And the last movement we did was dumbbell shrugs. I did five sets of around 10 to 12 reps. Uh, nothing fancy here. I was only resting for around 45 seconds in between sets. But guys, that's the end of the workout. If you want to give this workout a try, scroll down to the description box. It'll be written out all down there. Thank you so much for watching. <sighs> Just wrapped up that shoulder workout. Now I'd head to the store to pick up everything I need. And as you can see, it is so humid in Austin because of the camera fogging up right now. I should have never washed my car yesterday. I looked at the forecast and it said it was not gonna rain. And hang on. And of course, when I wash my car yesterday, it decides it's gonna rain. I need to wipe off all this crap. So yeah, I washed my car yesterday and then it rains. Does that every single time, I'm telling you. I need to go out to like the desert or something and wash my car and it could be like a drought for like years and then I'd go out there, wash my car and it would rain. So yeah, now I'm gonna head to the grocery store, pick up everything I need and then go home and start cooking. Just made it home from the grocery store. I'm taking my post-workout supplements at Celltech Hyperbuild, the creatine by MuscleTech 
and I need to start on the fries right now. It is about six o'clock, so the fries take about 30 minutes to cook. So I am making homemade fries, so all I do is get some potatoes, cut them up, season them with some salt and garlic, and then throw them in there for 30 minutes and let them cook. And then for the beef, I got 96.4 uh, uh, ground beef, so extra lean ground beef. Brady does this all the time. When I vlog, he yells. I don't know why. Like, he'll be sitting there just fine, like this. He'll be sitting there just fine, but when I pick up the camera and start talking, I don't know if he wants me to talk to him or what, but he just yells constantly. So it is very hard to vlog with a baby. I cannot wait to get a house so it can be a little quiet. I mean, I'm not gonna stay away from him because he's so cute. But at the same time when I vlog, I will be going in the separate room so that you're not constantly hearing this. It's ridiculous. And then I also picked up some more fat-free cheese and then got some of these Hawaiian buns. So the carbs on here are, let's see, I can't even see this. So for one of these, the carbs are 39 and three and a half grams of fat. So really low in fat and you know carbs, so really good. And then I got a tomato uh, and I think that's it. So I'm gonna whip all this up and make some burgers. A few moments later. The burgers are complete. Just got done cooking them, check them out. They look amazing, oh my gosh. Oh, I can't wait to eat these. And the fries, they look so amazing. So I have two burgers, Shelby has one. We're gonna sit down and watch some Shark Tank, I guess. Brady is just staring down the food. Well, those burgers didn't last long at all. I finished them up in like less than 10 minutes. They were so good. Brady, did you want a burger? Did you want a burger? But yes, please. <laughs> so Brady got in some new food today. So this company, I talked about it in, I think my last vlog, uh, been sending Brady uh, some food, baby food each week and he got a new shipment in today. Where is it at? It's right there in that box. In the, over there in the box. She hasn't unpacked it yet. But it came in today uh, and <laughs> check it out. So it comes in this box that you get. It ships it straight to your door and oh my gosh. Poof. Oh. I'm gonna hurt my back showing y'all baby food. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, it comes in a box and you just open it up and it comes with like ice packs and it's just like little jars of baby food. It's pretty awesome. I'm gonna open it up and show y'all real quick. Okay, so I opened the box already, but check it out. You have the little ice packs right there and here's the food. So it comes in this little box and let's see if I can open it. And then there you go. All the little selection of food he has. He's probably gonna start crying because he's gonna start looking at it. We got blueberry. We have butternut squash. Blueberry chai pudding. Chia. <laughs> chia. And blueberry chia pudding. So yeah, these are, and then carrots. So Brady's gonna be eating good. You excited, Brady? I know he is. That kid is a little chunk. He loves food more than I do. Well now it is eight o'clock, Brady is off to bed, and I'm gonna see how many of y'all are observant without going back and watching the last couple of clips. Let's see if any of y'all can tell what is different about me. So I'm gonna end the video here, so I'm gonna have all the macros for today up on the screen right here. Now I'm gonna pick up the camera tomorrow because I wanna show you what is my favorite type of HIIT cardio? Because that is when I like to incorporate HIIT cardios after having a high carb day. So tomorrow, I'm gonna show you exactly what my favorite type of HIIT is. And the reason why I like doing HIIT after doing a high carb uh, day is to help deplete my body of glycogen. So instead of doing lists, which I do later on after I deplete a little bit more, I do two days of HIIT cardio back to back after having a high carb day. So I'm gonna show you that tomorrow. But for now, I'm gonna end the video. So thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. All right guys, peace. <laughs> lower in carbs in this meal because I want to have higher carb Brady, no! Put your patty in your mouth hole!